Hello, blog media. We are gonna have an interview with Peter from X Protocol. Uh, X Protocol is entertainment focused L3 super chain based on base. Yeah, so nice to meet you, Peter. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice and to be here. could you please give your introduce yourself and your project briefly? Sure. So I'm Peter, I'm the founder and core contributor of X Protocol. Yeah, we started this project three, two years ago. We are backed by some of the giants like Razer, Dragonfly, Coins Yeah. And uh, yeah, you're glad to have the support of uh, the community throughout Asia and, and beyond. So essentially what we're building is a decentralized physical infrastructure network powering our blockchain, uh, which is initially a blockchain built on the whole base itself. But once we decentralize it sufficiently, we are going to we uh, migrated into our uh, own M1, essentially. So uh, our chain is capable of processing over 1,000 transactions per second itself. And initially, we are focused on entertainment uh, itself. How about yourself? Sure. So I previously co-founded a bunch of startups, um, including one of the largest uh, startup accelerator globally, mm -hmm. that also accelerated Coinbase and Airbnb oh, okay. as, as well. And that was a commission-free stock trading app uh, for Asia, yeah. small for Google Gold Trade. Itself, so I am very much into gaming and financial literacy. I also co-founded a mobile gaming studio, oh, called right. Studios, based on onboarding millions of users. Itself, the initial stages of uh, that app store and itself. So, yeah, my experience spans from gaming and fintech. Uh, and, I see. Yes, in building large startups. Yeah, quite startups. a long history. Yeah, thank you for your introduction and let's start. Yeah. What distinguishes X Protocol from other existing GameFi projects? Sure. So. We are not only a gamify project itself, so by I mean by that we are focusing on entertainment. So entertainment consists of the game pie, which is web three gaming itself, yeah. typical web three gaming, but also ticketing, music, arts and betting itself, which is a huge part of the entertainment sector itself. I would say but e gaming is only fifty percent of our volume in the business mm -hmm. itself, but the other fifty percent it's um, are the area and, sex and sectors which are not related to oh. per se. So we are much bigger than that and in the future the whole entertainment sector might uh, expand even into other areas once we go in a while. Yeah that's quite interesting. And next question yeah, about in in part of evol evolution of web two gaming, web three gaming, and what do you think is the key difference between the two? Sure. So um, I was like to use the analogy of a theme park itself. So uh, web two game, in the web two gaming world, when you play the web two game, when you enter the theme park, you enjoy the food, you buy the tickets itself. All the experiences are confined within the theme park itself. Uh, so when you exit it, uh, all the okay, okay. benefits of the park remain within the park, mm -hmm. and you don't get to enjoy the benefits uh, of uh, your consumption of the yeah, items yeah, inside right. the park itself. So when you enter the in the area, so we are you are essentially by interconnected to the universe and uh, And you can use one ticket to enter another part. Uh, and you can resell your tickets. And you can buy the and you can resell the good that you can have. So that's our idea of uh, what can you buy and that has a good behavior of whether to use the uh, digital ownership. Uh, digital. Yeah. So you think the role of crypto in the game is digital ownership. It is one of the most important corners. Next question. It seems like today's world, there seems to be more successful free platforms than through games. Do you agree with that? Well, for this, I'm good in that. But also, because the games and the developers take some of the good games, like the years of the is very young. Okay. You know, maybe the, the winners, I would say, of the cycle have not been developed. It takes. Um, Two to four years is still a great economy. So we have not successfully had a structure project like us. You can think of the analogy of a treasure. So there are other bridges and within the map itself that are where users and potential players. How can we make a world? Well, yeah, lots of people enjoy web three games as entertaining. Sure, so it must be integrated into everyday life. So, also, our approach is uh, for that for the next web two point. We are building our own devices. We are going to run our own nodes. So, it's uh, being integrated. So, currently, we have over five thousand people running. Uh, that is itself, and the are going to come later this year. And we are working with some of the customer partners to kind of integrate the way to run the node, like you know, intensive. 
run it and to essentially the most satellite and the most uh, uh, and uh, so we are with a device you will be able to put on blockchain and uh, Thank you very much. Thank you very much.